Updated seven hours ago, the University of Pittsburgh on Sunday issued a one-sentence response supporting Kickery and Troost's decision to kneel during the national anthem a day earlier. The university respects our students' rights for free expression, it read. The reaction from Pitt fans WASNT is muted. Troost's action created a stir on social media, on TribLive.com and in Trib Pitt beat writer Jerry DePaola's email inbox. Yet another reason the coaches need to go, sad state of affairs, Dave Smith at Dave's 306 October 14, 2017 Who cares win a game, Walt Heiduk 3 at Walt Heiduk 3 October 15, 2017 Troost was unknown to most fans before he took a knee Saturday. Teammate Jared Jones Smith stood behind Troost with his hand on his right shoulder. After the game a 3,517 pit loss to NC State played out in front of a crowd of 41,124 at Heinz Field coach Pat Narduzzi and three other players, Brian O'Neill, Avante Maddox and Sunado, said they supported Troost. I'm never going to tell a guy you can't do something, Narduzzi said. He added, I know I'm going to stand and put my hand over my heart. I will stand, kneel, sit, etc. I'm supportive of his right to peacefully protest. H2P, Hail V Buckets at Heavy Buckets October 16, 2017 Truce, 21, joined the team in the spring as a walk-in after transferring from Westminster, Utah College, where he played on the soccer team. He is not on scholarship at Pitt. Troost, a marketing major at Pitt and former team mascot, was a three-sport athlete, football, track and soccer at Portsmouth, New Hampshire High School. He was a captain of the soccer team. Here is a sampling of Pitt fans' reactions during the second half of the Pitt game. Nine active duty or veteran soldiers, sailors and airmen were recognized on the field for service to their country. Three of them have over 30 years of active service and continue to support our military families through Operation Homefront. I'd much rather see their names in the paper than some young man who chooses to kneel for a few minutes. Bob McGowan, USMC veteran, my family and I attended the Pitt game and the Penguins game. Later that evening I checked scores on ESPN and saw the news headline about Ian Truce kneeling for the national anthem. I assume the administration is okay with it. I did not see this at the game or would have immediately walked out. I am extremely disappointed. I find kneeling for the national anthem to be extremely disrespectful to the men and women and their families who have and are currently serving our country. Many have died in the line of duty to preserve what so many today take for granted. Others received serious wounds and their lives will never be the same. I was three years old and my sister six weeks old when my father was killed in action in North Korea in 1952. He and ten other pilots in his squadron, all from western Pennsylvania and eastern Ohio, did not return home. We have supported pit football for many years, most with frustrating results on the field, but we continued going to games to support the team and the athletes. Currently with four season tickets in North Club and Panther Club donations, we spend over $2,500 excluding parking. Unless the Pitt administration makes a public statement that athletes in all sports will stand for the national anthem, these tickets will not be renewed and donations to the athletic department will cease. I will be contacting my ticket representative. I will also contact the athletic director and chancellor. Why do they always find more way to alienate their fan base that cultivated Joseph D. Dansenko? He has lost me for good. Terrible job at coaching Saturday, especially pulling his quarterback who was doing a decent job. Then he defends his kicker for disrespecting the flag. If he does not consider this disrespect, then he needs to go. Also where does the 80 stand on this disrespect rate? Olish I have written to you and Kevin Gorman a few times this season that Pat Narduzzi is overrated horrible recruiter and does not have a clue anymore what he is dong. Last straw was the statement he made Saturday. What an insult to our wounded and fallen proud warriors and our military stationed overseas in horrible places. As a Pitt grad and huge supporter of the football program since I graduated in 1977, no more contributions for me. I could not even give away my remaining tickets to friends and family. Living in Houston, I am going to try and get some tickets for University of Houston and Rice for some of their remaining games and see if I can change my plans and go to the Franklin Regional Playoff Games. Next year, if Pat is not fired, when I come back for visits, I will only go to Franklin Regional Games, perhaps Duquesne and even possibly I cannot believe I am saying this Penn State Games. Jeff Linton now I'm done with college football. I have First Amendment rights not to watch or support them. Mel Kessler, LCDR, USN, Ret. There you go. Maybe the coach and players should worry about winning some games. Now they will lose more at the gate. Attendance will plummet even further. Lastly no more support from this veteran. Harold Murphy throw them off the team and out of school. 
do they even know what they are trying to accomplish? Bob Werzer Orange Coast College Pitt doesn't need any distractions or controversy. Support the First Amendment on his own time and venue but not while representing a university and team that has any pride in what the flag and national anthem represents. Dennis Grasso Youngstown State University Yep, he has First Amendment rights. I guess he just forgot how he got those rights. From the men and women fighting and dying for him to have those rights. Tony DeMarco wrong place and wrong time. Coach, maybe it's time you make some demands of your team to reflect and stand for what you're about. If you're standing with your hand over your heart in respect for this country, so should this gentleman and the whole team. Football is a game of discipline and focus, and, frankly, this year's team has neither, and that's a direct reflection on you. Christopher Lochner Municipal Manager at Township of Hampton The right place is in his dorm room. The right time is never. John Bradshaw I hope the stadium ends up empty and the loser ends up in the military via a draft and then we can leave him in the communist country of his choice. One-way ticket only. Kelly shrugs.